welcome to the Connect Studio. My name is Jonathan Spencer-Jones and I'm joined today by Werner Lieberherr, CEO of Landis & Gear. Werner. Uh, Jonathan, good to see you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Down. Thank you. I think one of the most topical issues today is smart meters, so I want to focus largely on that and start by asking you, why are smart meters an, an enabler of the energy transition? Because the grid becomes much more dynamic. Uh, when you think about EVs and you think about uh, solar panels, heat pumps, uh, the grid becomes much more dynamic and therefore the utilities but also end consumers need better information and I really feel that Landis and Kia we are at the sweet spot of this uh, transition because we are offering this type of information which is very valuable. And, and the European Commission wants the rollout of smart meters to be accelerated uh, and in some cases in countries where the you know, to revisit cost-benefit analyses. What, what, what are your recommendations for this? I, I definitely think we should do it. Uh, you know, when we look in nowadays environment, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the, the, the energy grids are much more dynamic, but then on top of that, uh, we also have this energy crisis, uh, which means, again, that uh, the utility uh, needs very good information and uh, these smart meters really can help in that. From a legislation perspective, uh, you know, uh, different countries are at a different pace. We, for example, have uh, the US or, or the Nordics, for that matter, really at the front end. And then we also have countries like Switzerland, Germany, who are really further back in, the, in this energy transition. So what, what are some of the challenges that need to be addressed then to achieve this acceleration of smart meters? I, I think uh, one is uh, legislation, for example, uh, like the uh, Minister of uh, Economics here in Germany, uh, Habeck, said rightly so, we need to accelerate it. That means uh, actually that legislation needs to be changed, that can be accelerated. I think that's a uh, very important a point then of course also when we look right now short term uh, there's a huge uh, stress in the supply chain because we use the same chips like automotive like consumers and with that we also see clearly stress in that is 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 the supply chain issues that's resolving is it now uh, it's on the way uh, to be resolved you know with the looming recessions we clearly see that um the uh, consumer industry is coming down, uh, also automotive. In our case, we as a landers and gear, we roll out the meters we keep rolling out because the utilities don't stop in that, which I think is very positive. So for us, a moderated uh, supply chain environment, it's a good thing for us. Right. And, and uh, another topical issue is, is water and potential shortages that uh, that countries are experiencing and what benefits do smart water meters bring? Uh, smart water meters are very important uh, with the uh, water shortages we have for example places like Africa or also Australia. I just visited uh, uh, last week actually Southeast Water which is a major customer of us in, in Melbourne and they said to me that they lose around, uh, on average, 15 to 16 percent of their water. And you can, can imagine when you uh, live in a place like Melbourne or Sydney and so on, water is even much more precious, you know what I mean, than, for example, in Switzerland or Germany. So, so that's definitely one of the issues uh, which we can address with ultrasonic uh, water meters, that we are able to detect the leaks and really help to actually have the whole uh, water management much more efficient. Right. And in terms, what, what's the latest generation technologies that are, uh, are being offered with, with meters? Uh, our latest product uh, is in the U.S. And uh, why in the U.S.? Uh, in the U.S. the grids are much more dated than, for example, in Europe. And therefore, in a, in a dated environment, you know, uh, where, you had, where you have all the infrastructure, 
you have a very insular grid. So, for example, Northeast grid in the U.S. is not connected to a Texas grid and so on. And there you need better information. And our latest product is uh, Revelo, which is so-called grid edge sensor, which, which is actually sensing the sinus curve uh, 15,000 times per second to actually looking for anomalies in terms of power quality, in terms of power outage, in terms of uh, uh, cyber security, and so on. And that's for a utility very important, uh, that actually they, they have much better information in this uh, much more dynamic environment, but also for the end consumer. When we think about the U.S., you know, you can quickly have an energy bill of uh, uh, three to six hundred U.S. dollar per month. Uh, so it's adding up a lot. And uh, they're actually with this Revelo uh, grid edge sensor, you are actually able on your iPhone to con uh, do, uh, permanently see actually what is your power consumption, how much do I need for the pool, how I, uh, much do I need for... EV charging for my fridge and so on, and I think that's that's very very important, you know. And I think the testimony for this technology is really uh, when we introduced it uh, was uh, or the the regulator approved it was in October 20. If maybe you remember back then in the U.S. there were 400,000 uh, new COVID cases a day, high unemployment rate. Uh, and and the regulator who actually represents on one hand the utilities, but then on the other hand also uh, the end consumer clearly said yes to this technology. We need this technology uh, to actually uh, you know manage our grids better, or as uh, it's often referred to, decarbonize the grid. Mm -hmm. So so you're actually delivering real time information then with 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 the MESA. Uh, in the U.S., yes, uh, but then you also have, for example, when I'm thinking about the U.K., uh, when I think about uh, France, when I think about Belgium and so on, they're also on the way up there, uh, which is a very good thing. I can give you one example, Jonathan. Uh, uh, Sharon Johnson from British Gas said actually due to the fact that we installed smart meters, we were actually able to save 4% of energy, and that's a, that's a big number. Mm -hmm. uh, so you definitely have that, but then you also have countries like, for example, Germany, Switzerland, India, and so on, uh, where obviously this transition still needs to take place. But I'm also hopeful there that it will come, because uh, with this uh, changing dynamics, I think it's a must, you know. Okay. Without giving away any company secrets, can you predict what a meter will look like in 10 years or 20 years time or? yeah so I, I think a meter it's already now it's a high high capable uh, computing power uh, module and I think they will even increase in terms of uh, accuracy in terms of uh, uh, the information which you have as utility and also as a as an end user but then we also should think about data managing data. Already now we have a partnership with Google, a seven-year partnership where we actually, uh, the, all this data which is collected from these meters, where we actually prepare it in terms of grid analytics uh, platforms. Uh, you know, uh, Google is very good in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and we want to use that actually to give our customers, the utility customers or end consumer, better information. And my view is that will that will even increase. You know, I mean, we just now actually uh, reached eight billion um, uh, people on this uh, planet. We see more urbanization, and then we see all these changing demands: EV, cars, heat pumps, and so on. So the requirement for the grid again are becoming more challenging, and for that we will have definitely. Uh, even much higher efficient solution. But I do think there will be also in 10 years, there will be a meter there or a grid edge sensor there who is highly capable in terms of managing these different resources together with a huge, a huge amount of software uh, to really uh, do the best uh, for the utility and also for the end customer. Yes. Well, that, <coughs> that's very interesting. We look forward to seeing what the, what that MISA looks yeah, like. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah.
And for more Connect interviews, please tune in to ennet.world.